بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اینڈ السلام علیکم دس از ایوری ڈے میتھمیٹکس اینڈ ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو لرن پارشل کوشچن ڈویژن وین وی لک ایٹ دس ڈویژن میتھڈ اٹ لکس لائک اے بگ سیون شیپ جائنٹ آن دا پیج بٹ اٹ از ایکچولی این ایفیشینٹ وے آف ڈویژن اینڈ اٹس ریئلی ویری بریلینٹ by the end of the video i'll compare it with the regular standard way of division and i will tell you why did i say that it is more efficient because it gives you the choice of taking whatever multiple you can use like one minute let me explain you better 468 divided by 4 okay so you can take any multiple of 4 that is less than 468 you can use any multiple it will not make any difference okay so first of all 400 times is 400 then subtract it 8 minus 0 is 8 6 minus 0 is 6 then 4 10 times is 40 we have to use very easy multiples of 4 use easy multiples and use you can use any multiple of 4 but the condition is it should be less than the number written on the top okay so 8 minus 0 is 8 6 minus 4 is 2 where 28 comes in the table of 4 it is 7 times 7 times 4 is 28 what is left with us nothing so it means that this number will not have any remainder <coughs> now what is the quotient what is the answer the answer is we have to add these numbers 100 plus 10 is 110 110 plus 7 is 117 117 keep in mind the place value fact okay so if you want to do a real quick check with the number like if we did it right we can multiply it uh, 117 we can multiply our quotient with number 4 to check if our answer is correct 4 8 times is 28 i will put 8 here to carry it forward 4 1 times is 4 5 6 4 1 times is 4 so this number is exactly this number it means our answer is correct there is nothing difficult in par partial quotient division method now the same thing the same question i am going to do the other way partial quotient way but i want to show you how can we use any multiple of 4 what if i use 4 2 times 8 and i write 0 here 6 here and 4 then i write 4 mm, 10 times is 40 then what is left with us right then what if i say 4 5 times is 20 then what is left with us 4 and what if i say that 400 times is 400 so again if i will add these numbers i will again have 117 okay let's add 100 plus 10 is 110 115 and 117 again our answer is 117 so it means that we can say that we can use any multiples of 4 in whatever order we want that's why i said that partial quotient division method is the easiest method of division let's do a four digit number with a double digit and you will be surprised to see that this division method is so much easy and efficient i don't know why were you thinking that it is complex and it has multi layers okay now my question is <clears throat> i want to use pink color okay now my question is 
28, I can write any random number, 28, 49 divided by 32. Okay, again I will make a 7 shaped giant on the screen. And I will write this number, what we have to divide here inside, 28, 49 divided by 32. Okay, as I told you earlier that we have to use easy quotient, easy multiples. So first of all, can I use 10 times 320? Yes, I can use it. So 9 left. 4 minus 2 is 2 left, 8 minus 3 is 5 left and 2 will get down as it is. Please keep in mind the concept of place value. Again this 529 is greater than 320. So I want to use uh, 32 10 times 320. 9, 0, I am subtracting it. 5 minus 3 is 2 and then 2. 2,209. 2,209. Okay. Now, what are the easy multiples? The easiest multiples are multiply by 10, multiply by 5 or multiply by 2. So, 320, I don't want to use here 320. I want to try 32 multiply by 5 here. 5 2 times is 10, 5 3 times is 15 and 1, 16. Okay, 160. Can I say this? 32 times 5 is 160. Sorry, let me write it better. Can I say this? Yes. 32 times 5 is 160 and can I say this 32 times 50 is 1600 if I add a zero here I will add a zero with an answer <coughs> okay so 1600 is less than 2209 I want to use this here 32 50 times is 1600 what is left with us? 9, 0, tw 22 minus 16 is 5. Uh, one minute, is it? No, it is 6. Sorry, it is 6. Yes. 22 minus 16 is 6. So now I will have 609. Again, can I do this? 32, 10 times is. 320. What will be left with me? 9 minus 0 is 9. <clears throat> make it 5. Make it 10. 10 minus 2 is 8. 5 minus 3 is 2. 289. Now, 32 10 times is 320. I cannot use it here because it should be less than the number written here. My multiple should be less than the number written here. Okay. So, 32 10 times is 320. I want to try it. 32 multiply by 9. I just want to try it. 9 2 times is 18. 1 carried forward. 9 3 times is 27 28. Wow. We are so close. 288. 1 will be our remainder because 9 minus 8 is 1. And 32, 9 times is this. Now, what do we have to do to write the quotient? We have to add these numbers. 10, 20, 20 plus 50 is 70. 70 plus 10 is 80. 80 and then 9 is 89. Answer is 89. And remainder 1. Don't forget to write your remainder here on the top for the final answer. So what is the final answer? It is 89 remainder 1. Okay. Now, uh, as I told you that I will compare this division with other regular way. Let's do that.
89 remainder 1 was our answer let me clear the screen Eighty nine remainder one is our answer. Answer would be the same whatever division way you are using. Okay, so it is twenty eight thirty uh, sorry forty nine divided by thirty two. Okay, so here in the first way, first two digits are greater than twenty eight, so you have to use three digits. Let's try 32 8 times. 8 2 times is 16. 8 3 times is 24 and then 25. Yes, we are so close. So I will write 8 here. I have written 8 right on the top of this number because I am dividing 3 numbers, 3 digits. 256. Okay, now I will subtract. 8 will become 6. 14 minus 6 is 14 minus 6 is 6, 7, 8, 8. 189 left with us. But guessing this in your mind that which number you have to multiply right here to write the answer is really difficult for the students. That's why partial quotient is easier. Whatever multiple you want to use, you can use it and then add them by the end of the, uh, the whole calculation. Now, uh, I will try it. Number 32 multiply by 9. 9 2 times is 18. 9 3 times is 27 and 128. Oh no, we did a mistake. Because why is it so much greater and it is 189? Oh, uh, my mistake is right here. After taking carry from here, I, sh I was supposed to write 7 here. Okay, let me fix it. Wait. It was 8 and it was 2. It was 7. It was 8. 889 and 9 times it is 288 and then 1 left as remainder. I did it so quick because I already knew the answer from here. That's why I did it so quick but otherwise this standard division way is way much longer than the partial caution division method. I hope you like the video if you want me to solve any of your maths related problem you can ask me in the comment section and i would be happy to make a video for you thanks for watching allah hafiz